So it's here, it's now, it's game time. Yes. Lost to a team that had bobbed the builder up front. Tregos, what's happening? Don't you just love a two week break from football and postponing two games because you had three players called up for international duty, only for one of them to play seven minutes for the under 19s, while well, the other two were picking splinters out of their asses when you thought you'd be clever, buying time to get injured players back fit, only to have more players now unavailable. Banter FC is back. It's here, it's now, it's game day. We're home for this one, we're off to the hive. It's Banter FC, the Made in the Head United in the Vanarama National League. Don't fear, a familiar face is back, now playing for us. As you can see, Wesley Fongook is over the moon to re-sign for us after leaving at the end of last season. Having you back is like me having it off with two triggles. About. And them dreams have remained since you turn around. Who'd have thought they'd lead you? But anyway, that's another chat of bollocks. Let's get to football news! So Maiden had finished 19th last season in the National League, where they played 46 times, winning 16, drawing 6, losing 24, scoring 45, conceding 70, goal difference of minus 25, and he ended on 54 points. They currently sit 4th, and their last 5 games have been 2 wins, 1 draw, and 2 losses. Alan Devonshire is still wearing his Mac. You see that? It's made of chicken. It's actually made of chicken. You kill it, you've got free chicken. You can sell it to people. Or don't kill it. Fucking eggs come out of their arses. Fucking hell. And he's been doing that since the 5th of May 2015, where he's now taking 208 games, winning 94, drawing 45, losing 69. <laughs> giving him a win percentage of 45.2. It was 48.6 last time we met. Do you want any help, mate? Number 14, Danny Whitehall, who has four goals in 10 games. I don't care about your I don't give a fuck. Oh, shit. Here we go again. The 8th of the 9th, 2018. Banter FC 1, made the Edge United nil. Josh Walker with a goal after three minutes. That was it, but we picked up three points. So, let's get to the grand. Let's get some team news in. Let's get three points. And then let's get the fuck out of town. Fuck you, Maiden Edge United! We had the worst Prime Minister in this country's history running the country, representing Maiden Edge. And now, you've taken her back! So she can foul at that role once again. So you deserve to be called a bunch of wankers. You bunch of wankers! Come on, Barnet! <laughs> Starting 11 for Barnet today in a 4 2 3 1. Loach in between the sticks. Your back four of Shay Alexander at right back, making his debut at left back, Hernandez. Your two centre halves, Captain Cannon Reynolds and Ricardo Santos. The two in the centre of midfield today, Jack Taylor and Charlie Adams. The three in the advanced midfield role, Mason Clark on the wide right, Simeon Akinoda on the wide left, and also making a return debut, Wesley Fonguk in the number 10 role, and up front, Josh Walker. And this is our made in the United lineup for today. 20 minutes in, it's still 0 0. Finally, 
entertaining opening 20 minutes of us keeping the ball, loads of possession, passing it, going nowhere with it. Maiden are letting us have the ball in our own half. As soon as we go into their half, quick pressure, they're right in our face, not letting us do anything with it. 10 to the half, still nil nil. Maiden had looked dangerous from set pieces. Basic Clark cleared one off the line. Akinado had a chance. It's our usual game. We do all the pretty football, do all the hard work. No killer finish where we just let ourselves down. About two minutes to the half, still nil nil. See you at half time. Half time here at the Hive and it's Banter FC nil, it's Maiden Edge United nil. We've done all the hard work for 45 minutes, we're getting in the right areas, we're playing the nice passing football, we just can't shoot, we just try and walk it in the goal. It's our typical performance. Maiden Edge have been physical, getting in their face, they're trying to close it down, they've got their game plan, they're slowing it down when they can. Naughty from set pieces, we had to clear one off the line, Hernandez had a good half, Fongo's had a great half, and Mason Clark in flashes. Played 45 minutes of football, I even noticed Josh Walker up front, it's like we've been playing with 10 men. We haven't even used him at all. Sim looks off the pace at times. He'll win the ball, he'll win it in the air, he'll win it on the ground, but then he just doesn't know what to do with the ball. It's nice football to watch, it's nice and pretty, but this just takes me back to 2017, 2018, when we had Rossi in charge. He can play the best football in the world. You ain't gonna penetrate and score a goal. You ain't gonna win a fucking game. Reynolds has been caught out of position a few times, drifting into midfield where he doesn't need to do that. We've got players there and then giving away stupid free kicks. 45 minutes, let's see what we can do. minutes in, it's still nil-nil. Best opportunity for us in this second half, Santos plays a lovely ball, about 15 yards, all the way through the middle to Fongu. Fongu's had a first time shot on his left foot, sliced it wide, had so much time to take it and run at the keeper. Eventually. Oh, he's fumbled it! Yeah! 65 minutes in, Banter FC 1, Maiden Edge United nil. Look what happens when you have a shot. Charlie Adams driving through midfield, has a crack because no one's closing him down. Shocking goalkeeping. Keeper should have had that all day long. He's fumbled it. And Josh Walker, the first time we've actually noticed him on the pitch, is just there to tap it in. Into last 10, still leading 1-0, apart from our goal. Nothing else has happened. Into 90th, just add on five minutes, and we still lead 1-0. Game finished, Barnet won, made the Ned United nil. And it's another game where the keeper has gifted us the points. Yes, we played well. We hold on to the ball nice. We play some nice football. If I'm being brutally honest, and it's not being negative, it's just how I see it. It probably had nil-nil written all over it. If we can do some of the play we have and have a proper striker up front, we'd probably piss this league. It's so open that anyone can have a crack. We play nice football. We get in the right positions. Having shots on target, having shots at goal. It's the only thing we lack. Just a couple of times we were overplaying and trying to walk it in the goal. I thought it was going to be another game where we've just huffed and puffed and tried everything and thrown a kitchen sink at it and we're only going to come away with a point. Maiden had a game plan and it was to stop us playing football, be very physical, be in our face and just don't let us do anything. It was working for them until the keeper decided to help us out. I'm grateful and I'm taking it and we've got three points. But that'll do for now because I'm sweating my bollocks off in this car and we go again on Tuesday home to all the shot town. Well done Barnett, let's keep this going now. You know what to do. Tala.